I've been reduced to catching honey thieves. I sink no lower. It's not like it was on TV at all. I mean, where's the glamour, the fast cars, the beautiful women? So it wasn't our best case, but at least we got paid this time. 40 pounds of honey is hardly legal tender. <laughs> yeah, but it's great on toast. Maybe we'll get lucky and get paid in toast. It's no good, Rip. You know, from now on, it's cash money up front or I'm not working. Yeah, well, call me if we get nothing. Is this where your mother works? Yeah, I'm helping them set up for their fundraising party tomorrow. What's that? Oh, big casino night, some gambling thing. Costs £100 to get in, and you get £1,000 worth of chips, and you just gamble all night. £1,000 worth of chips for £100? I am an excellent gambler. I could triple that 1000 No, you couldn't. Yes, I could. Tickets are all sold out. to give away. You still look miserable. <laughs> uh, this casino night. Hundred pounds a ticket and you get a thousand pounds worth of chips to gamble with? Yes. I want a ticket. We're sold out. For the general public, I'm sure you are. But I'm not just anyone. How nice for you. We're sold out. Wallace Charitable Trusts. Martino Panetta not attending. Thank you, I've got that. Out of my way. Buonasera, signora. I'm afraid I don't have my ticket. My name is Martino Panetta. Oh, certainly, Signor Panetta. Grazie, Signor. No more bets? Scusi, Signore, could you tell me, please, who is that woman? Oh, that's Claudia Keegan. She's the charity's treasurer. She's also stinking rich. 19 red. Where do you want your bet placed, sir? Zero, nothing this time. Very good, sir. That was a brave move. What? To bet everything on zero. No! No! No, basta, basta! Stop the wheel, this is my money! It's too late, I'm afraid, sir. The bet's been placed. You did that on purpose. You deliberately tried to catch me off my guard so that you could swindle me out of my money. But I won't stand for it. I'm going to. Zero. Bravo! Bravo! Magnifico! Oh, scusi, signora. I could not see you through all of my money. Mr. Panetta, what a surprise! I'm so glad you could make it. You know me. I'm him. 
You know me. Always too much money. Richard, would you cash in Mr. Panetta's chips for him, please? No problem. I'll be right back with your ticket. No, no, it's OK. I keep. You go this go. Tickets? Yes. For every £50 worth of chips, you get a raffle ticket. A raffle ticket? Oh, they've got the most wonderful prizes. I have seen the cutest little bunnies. Bunnies? Uh -huh. Oh, manager. Oh, dear. Yes. No, no, no. You pick up the chips, you can have the raffle tickets. If you win, you can have the bunnies. Hello, Bella Signore. Come, we have a drink. Huh? I'm just so thrilled that you finally made it to one of our events. Is your wife with you? My wife? No. I'm afraid of my wife. She's, uh... Oh, no. Say, it was tragic. Not even raining when the lightning struck. How awful. Yes. I'll never play badminton again. I'm so sorry. When did it happen? When? was the last time I saw you? Oh, no. Must have been three years ago. Yes, was just after that. We were so madly in love. So happy. And then, poof, in a flash, she is taken away. You poor thing. I spent uh, three years grieving. And then, yesterday, Something fantastic happened, very strange. A vision of my lovely wife appeared to me, and she said, her soul cannot rest until I find happiness with another. You should listen to her. You need to get on with your life. You need to laugh. You know, you are right, and so is she. Tonight, tonight, I enjoy. Mr. Panetta. See? I recognized you from your picture. Carol Lundy, I'm on the fundraising committee. Thank you for taking the trouble to come. Oh, was no trouble. But you came from Rome. It's no trouble if you have your own Learjet. <laughs> oh, my husband, Gordon. Buonasera. Solo una Romano. Poteva essere generoso come lo si stato tu, eh? eh lo so, eh, perché anch'io... <coughs> Scusi. <coughs> I'm how you say, allergic to the cologne. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing any cologne. <laughs> we talk later. I have promised this beautiful lady a dance. What? Oh, I haven't danced for ages. Uh, I've probably forgotten how. Of <laughs> course. I never work a lot. And the first item in tonight's raffle is this top-of-the-line Mitsubishi home entertainment system. Ticket number... Five, four, nine, eight. You're the winner. I've won! I've won! Five, five, two, four. You've won two cases of 1956 Chateau Lafitte Rothschild. That's me! I won again! <laughs> Oh, seven. <laughs> that was wonderful. You know, I haven't danced so much since... Oh, well, a long time. You wore me out. I think I have to lie down. <laughs> There you are. Brian and I have been looking all over for you. It's been a sensational night. Martino Pinetta, I would like you to meet us. Parla un po' con me, amico italiano. Excuse me, I have to find a tissue. 
That's one Mitsubishi sound system, one case of Shuttle Lafitte 56, an Olympic autofocus camera, a set of 12 crystal tumblers, a fax machine, a pair of Salomon skis, an electric orange juicer, a mountain bike, dinner for two at Canal Restaurant, and one cute little toy bunny. If you'd just like to give me the ticket stuff, you can start loading it up. Those tickets are mine. Drop the juicer. Give me my tickets back. Forget it. You gave those tickets to me. And now I'm taking them back no, again. No, you're not. Yes, I am. If you want something, take a bunny. Everything else is mine. OK, you can have the juicer, too. What's going on? Such clumsy waiters. This man was just trying try to buy you this cute little bunny because I know how much you wanted one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> The other board members and I are going upstairs for a little money counting party. Would you like to join us? I'd be delighted. Oh, Martino Panetta, I would like you to meet Jenny and Mark Saltzman. Martino Panetta, about time you turned up. Marty was at Oxford with me. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> no doubt why he is so generous to an English church. <laughs> I wouldn't go back down the stairs, so they had to keep the donkey in their room for the rest of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Martino, amico italiano. Uh, scusi. Scusi, Bella. I have to go. An ache in the head. Buona notte. Grazie. Scusi. Yes. Two hundred and sixty-three thousand pounds in tickets, sales of chips, and donations. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think that's a record. Just enough for a toast. Here's to a job well done. Thank you, Nancy. Oh, thanks to all of you. Well done, well done. Mm. Now, let's go home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll just pop this into the safe. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Night, night. Well Good done. night. And you're the last ones out. <laughs> Uh, if that's all, I'll say good night. Good night, Jeffrey. Thanks. For a wonderful evening, Martino Pimetta. Thank you too, Martino. We'll be fine. The bank is just down the road from your school. I'll drop you off on the way. So it was a good party? Absolutely the best we've ever had. I had a wonderful time. the money before I put the bag in the safe. The money was there. What about the alarm? It works perfectly. It was set at 1.47 a.m. and turned off at 7.51 this morning. If someone had been in the building last night, they'd have triggered it. And the safe hasn't been forced in any way. I don't think there was a robbery, Mrs Hilliard. It was late. You had a glass of champagne. Probably something at the party as well, under those circumstances. Anyone might have mixed up two similar plastic bags. I did not mix them up. And anyway, if I had, the money would still be here. Not necessarily. I've just had a word with your janitor. He tells me he'd emptied the rubbish before we arrived this morning. What did you do with the rubbish? I do what I always do. I threw it in the incinerator. When I see her there with her glowing hair and she smile at me. With one look I knew and she knew it too. This was meant to be. Oh, we dance all night and it feels so right. Like fun mail and applause. Like fun mail and... Oh, <laughs> I was just uh, doing a little... Um, <laughs> uh, 
Hurry up, Grant. We have a case and it's important. Right. You'll never guess what's happened. I fell in, in love. love. Oh, she is perfect for me. Beautiful, kind, filthy rich. But I'd still be smitten, even if she wasn't fabulously wealthy. Just one night together, and we know everything about each other. What's her name? Claudia something. Look, I'm very happy for you, Grant, but get some clothes on. We have a lot to do. Right. Yes. Right. Uh, remember I was telling you that my mother's charity was having a fundraising casino night? Uh, I vaguely remember you mentioning it. Why? Well, the money they raised was stolen on Saturday night. My mother's a wreck. She thinks it's all her fault. That's terrible. The treasurer must be very upset. I'm sure she is. Probably needs comforting. Well, there's only one thing for it. We have to find that money and return it to the charity. Uh, just one thing. We might not get paid. How can you even think about money? The city's needy are counting on us. So the police think it was her fault? Yeah, well, they obviously don't know my mum. She'd never make a mistake like that. I want you to reassure her, Grant, that it was a theft and you're going to find who did it. Don't worry. She'll rest easy when she knows Grant Logan's on the case. Yeah. And one more thing. The safe's combination should be somewhere in her office. Check underneath things. That's where she normally writes secret stuff. Right. Maybe it was my fault. I'll pay the money back. Oh, it'll take a long time. No, but... you won't. I will. Because unlike all of you, I can easily afford it. No, no, I can't let you. Yes, you can. If it was a mistake, it was a mistake we all made. It was no mistake. There was a theft, and I intend to prove it. Who are you? Grant Logan. Private detective. I am already well acquainted with the minutest detail of this crime. Nothing escapes my laser-like powers of observation. I intend to find this thief and return the money. How did you know there'd been a robbery? We haven't made an announcement yet. There's not much I don't know, Mrs. Keegan. You don't know her name. I'm Nancy Hilliard. You are? You are? That means you're rips, responsible for the good of the charity. And I am here to help you, madam. Grant Logan will not let you down. Buffoon. Get rid of him. What can it harm? Let, let him go on. My son has mentioned him. He said he really is very good. Of course, Ripley isn't always right. Shouldn't you be at school? We got out early. What was there? Used to be a picture of Martino Pinetta, one of our biggest donors. Looks like someone stole it. Nice to see you again. I happened to be in town. I thought I'd drop by. Say how sorry I am. I couldn't make the party on Saturday night. We just counted the money. It wasn't nearly as nice as the rest of the evening. Yeah, of course. Strange. You look different somehow. Oh, see, yes. My wife said to me this morning she thought I was putting on a little weight. <laughs> uh, she, uh spoke to you again? 
Certo, uh, perché? Why wouldn't she? Oh, n no, no, no reason. I, I just didn't realize it was something she did so frequently. Uh, why shouldn't she? She's your wife. Say, si. exactly. Does she still want you? Sorry, did I do that? What are you doing here? I'm looking for clues. Are you all right? Say, si, say, si, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, I can see you're very busy. Miss Goosey, I have a meeting to go to. Bruto Cretino. Oh! of my life. The police think it's my fault. Then I have to cope with some idiot detective who showed up and literally tore my office apart. And then Martino Pinetta drops by and pretends that Saturday night never happened. Oh, not the handsome Italian millionaire. Completely cold to me. <sighs> oh, there go my plans for a Roman holiday. I'm going for a bath. We got off to a bit of a shaky start, but she likes me. She just doesn't know it yet. Yeah, I hope you're right. I am. How's she doing? Mm, not so good. On top of everything else, she's upset about some Italian millionaire who gave her the cold shoulder. Did you get the combination? Of course. So she, she likes this Italian millionaire then, does she? Apparently. Well, don't worry about it, Rip. I'll have her calmed down and reassured by tomorrow. Hello? Uh, Nancy Hilliard, please. Oh, just a second. Mum, it's for you. Hello. Nancy, this is Martino Pineta. Oh. I must apologise for this afternoon. I didn't even thank you for the magnificent time I have with you on Saturday night. Thank you. I must apologize, too, for what happened to your foot. No, no, it's no problem. I'm sure Mr. Logan... ...have a reason for what he does. Do you know him? Certo, of course. He's a famous detective. I'm so sad to hear about the robbery. But Mr. Logan will catch the thief. You know that Italian millionaire mum met the other night? How did you know about him? I was eavesdropping. Oh. Well, he's one of their big donors. And they had a great time at the party together, that's all. Did she say if he went up to the charity offices after the party? I wonder, would you like to have dinner with me before I leave? That would be lovely. How about the Quinell restaurant? The man he said. Tomorrow at about nine o'clock. I'll see you then. Ciao, Bella. Yes, 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 yes! Pronto? Pronto? Uh, a friend of mine. I was expecting a call. Oh. Listen, I figured out how the robbery was done. Now you need to get everyone who was at the charity on Saturday night to assemble there tomorrow at seven. Who was it? Well, I don't know who it was, but he was disguised as an Italian millionaire named Pinetta. I'll see you tomorrow evening. Sorry I'm late. Had some phone calls to make. Is everyone here? Yes. Oh, good. What's the matter? Oh, stage fright. Ah, oh, don't worry. You'll be brilliant. You've got a great scene to do. I'm not so sure, Rip. This phony millionaire, I'm not sure he's our man. Well, of course he is. Listen. One, Pinetta's photo is missing from the lobby. The thief stole it so he would know what Pinetta looked like. Two, he spends a whole night buttering up my mum, then disappears when he gets upstairs. And three, and this nails it, I phoned Pinetta's office. He wasn't at the party. He's in town right now, but he didn't even get here until yesterday. I still don't think it's him. 
Well, why not? Because I'm him, he's me. I couldn't get a ticket, so I pretended to be Panetta to get into the party. That means you're the one. And, and she's, the, she's the one you're in love with, and you're the one she's got a crush on. More or less. This can't be true. You don't seem very happy for us, Rick. This can't happen. This cannot happen. Well, I didn't know it was her at first. Otherwise, I could have tried to stop it. But I'm not sure that I could have. There was this, this force greater than both of us drawing us together. She's my mother. And she needs our help. You cannot have a breakdown. She falls in love with you. Oh, wouldn't that be marvelous? What if you get married? What if she... What if you... That means you'd be my... 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 Daddy. Don't worry, I haven't even asked her yet. Uh, Come on, Rip, pull yourself together. We're on. Uh, I've gathered you here to prove conclusively, once and for all, finally and forever, without a shadow of doubt, that this woman, this kind and generous woman, this woman who has given her very life to the welfare of this charity is no more guilty of carelessness than an ostrich is guilty of flying. <laughs> than a fish is guilty of drowning. Then. A rhinoceros is guilty of forgetting. Elephants, elephants never forget. Of forgetting that elephants never forget. Yes, yes, I think we get the point. Tell them that you're going to demonstrate how the crime was done. I am going to demonstrate how the crime was done. Get her to open the safe, put something inside, then have them lock up. Would you open the safe, Nancy? Her name is Mrs. Hilliard. Thank you, Mrs. Logan. Excuse me, slip of the tongue. She is not Mrs. Logan, she is Mrs. Hilliard. And she's always going to be Mrs. Hilliard, so don't get any ideas. I am going to place this bunny into the safe and lock it inside. <laughs> Have you told me the combination of this safe? No. You're just going to finish this case and you're never going to see her again. Do you understand me, Grant? Grant? Have you told me the security code of the alarm system or given me keys to this building? No. When it gets dark, I am going to ask you to leave this building locking up behind you as you did on the night of the theft. In the morning, the bunny will be gone, along with any suspicion of Mrs. Hilliard's conduct. I'll meet you here, 8 o'clock sharp. Oh, you should have seen me rip. I was brilliant. Yeah, come on. What are you doing? She set the alarm. Yes, but it's not actually 30 seconds. For what? For morning. This is how the thief did it. See, there's no motion sensor in here. In the morning when the alarm's turned off, we have three minutes before they all get up here. That's when we open the safe and steal the bunny. Are you telling me that I am trapped for ten hours in this elevator with you? No. It's actually twelve hours, and I'm not all that thrilled about it either. Oh! Oh, no, I can't stand it! The walls! The walls are closing in. Uh, God, I need air. Oh. Oh, you little rat. 
You did this on purpose, didn't you? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You planned this whole thing so I'd miss my date. What date? Don't pretend you don't know. You had a date with my mother. Yes, I had a date with your mother, and she's going to be crushed when Panetta doesn't show up. How does that make you feel? Fantastic. At least I know she won't get hurt. She thinks you're some Italian millionaire with a Learjet and a mansion in Rome. Everything you've told her has been a lie. No, Rip, not everything. I told her that she was beautiful and fun. Those weren't lies, and that's the only thing that counts. No. No, what actually counts is that she knows who you are. You're not a rich Italian widower. You're Grant Logan, an unemployed actor with a trail of ex-wives. How's she going to feel when she finds that out? Is that all you really think I am? I just don't want her to get hurt. Well, right now, it's not her that's being hurt. Grant, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't saying... Be quiet. I'm going to sleep. Oh, good morning, everyone. I'm so sorry. Am I late? Have you been waiting long? No. Here we go. The alarm is off. Uh, under the blotter on your mother's desk. If it wasn't Benetta, I don't know who it was. Oh, that should be lovely. Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't a clue who did it. I look like a total jackass. Well, I had it all worked out. It was supposed to be Panetta. How was I supposed to know you were going to turn up to be him? Oh, don't try and blame me. Well, you can at least tell them how it was done so they won't think it was her. Get her off the hook. That should impress her. Yes! How's my breath? Oh, like roses. Why don't you walk in there and give her a great big kiss? Well, yes, I may just do that. You stay away from her. Why should I? Because she's my mother. But, Rip, we've played this scene before. If you really think that I am that bad, then why don't we just stay away from each other? I won't go near her, you don't come near me, and we'll all be happy. Now, let's get this over with. The bunny. I want the bunny. It's gone. So you see, the building is not impenetrable, and the security is not foolproof. The moment the alarm was switched off, I dashed in here and took the bunny from the safe, and then I hid before you could get upstairs, just as the thief did. You're brilliant. Psst. Psst. Excuse me. Peculiar man. This isn't a good time, Rip. I'm in the middle of a scene there. I don't care. This is more important. Listen, I was wrong, Grant, and I'm sorry. If you want to date my mother, go ahead. Promise me you'll be yourself and not some Italian millionaire. I promise. Don't worry. If she liked him, she'll like you. Thanks, Rip. How would they know the safe's combination? Excuse me again. Thanks, 
should be lucky to get a guy half as great as you. Oh, and Grant, tell me you don't know who did it and you won't be able to find the money. What? All part of the plan. Well, that's how it was done, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm afraid that's all I know. There were over 200 people downstairs that night, and the thief could have been any one of them. I really am very impressed. Uh -huh. What would I have done without you? I'm sure people thought that I was responsible. Thank you, Mr. Logan. I really am very grateful. I just wish I could have found the money for you, but I'll, I'll keep on trying. You've already done far more than I expected. Oh, it, it was nothing. Are you all right? Oh, yes, fine. I, I was, I was, I, I, I hope you don't think this, this is inappropriate, but I, I, I was just, um, I was wondering if perhaps one night you would like... Oh, 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 oh. Better take that as my fee. Oh well. I think I figured this out. We can catch this guy. Good for you. Mr. Panetta, we seem to have missed each other last night. You must forgive me. We miss our dinner. I have no choice. My jet was hijacked. Oh, but that's terrible. Are you all right? Oh, si, si, certo. They go only as far as Libya. But I have no chance to contact you. Are you free tonight? Posso avere il menu? Posso avere il menu? What do you recommend? Cosa consiglia? Cosa consiglia? Can you come to my hotel for a drink? Può venire a bere qualcosa al mio albergo questa sera? What? Grant, are you in there? See? Uh, yes? Meet me here at nine o'clock tonight. What? No time to explain, just be here. Uh, I, uh, I, I can't. I've got plans. Well, I'll have to cancel. This is important. Oh, uh, uh, oh and Grant? What? Try eating more roughage. Thanks for letting me stay at Jeremy's house last night, Mum. I hope you had fun. Listen, you know that detective I told you about? Well, he turned out to be really smart. He demonstrated exactly how the robbery was done this morning. I only hope he can find out who did it. Yeah, I hope so. Why are you all dressed up? Ah, I'm going out with one of our donors, Martino Pinetta. Apparently, his plane was hijacked last night. What? I'll tell you all about it. Later. Oh, Mum, where are you going? Only the best restaurant in town. Quinell. Ciao. <laughs> Could I speak to Mr. Bonetta, please? Table, oh, this way, then. Thank you. Martino. How lovely to see you again. 
please, uh, sit down. This is a lovely restaurant. Yes, so I've heard. So, uh, tell me about last night. It must have been terrifying. I went to see cats. Oh, oh, sir. I am so sorry. Jack, guardi, guardi. Come with me, sir. I'll help you get changed. Scusi, signora. <coughs> Yes, I was very lucky. They have a spare shirt while they dry my clothes. What? What is it? Uh, nothing. Nothing. It's just that you look different every time I see you. Well, you know, the ordeal of cats and the hijacking is bound to change a person. Could I speak to Mr. Panetta, please? It's urgent. You know, I don't really like this restaurant. Why don't you let me take you somewhere else? Mr. Panetta. See? Si? I've just had a message for you to call your mother. Grazie. I'll do it later. Sir, she's quite ill. I'd suggest you call now. There's a telephone up front. My mama. Always she call me when I'm in a restaurant to say I'm so ill. <laughs> Come, we go. Sir, she's had a heart attack. Oh, no. Okay. Fine. I call her. Excuse me. She was very old. Was her time to go? You want some red wine or white? Your own mother. Excuse me. Your note. And I must say, I'm impressed. I had a perfect plan, but apparently it wasn't foolproof. What are you doing here? I'm prepared to go along with your deal. We'll split the money. You say you can't find the thief, and I'll make sure my wife replaces the stolen money, and that'll be the end of it. I thought you'd see it my way. Just one question. Why steal your own money? <laughs> it's not mine, it's hers. I want a divorce, but I knew if I left her, she wouldn't give me a thing. I also knew that she'd replace the charity's money if it was stolen. You set me up. You... I'm impressed, Mr. Logan. OK, lads, take Mr. Keegan into custody. Yes, very impressed. Just doing my job. I had to ruin your date, Mr. Pinetta, but I needed you here. How did we know it was him? Well, it had to be someone who knew they were drinking champagne. It also had to be a man. 
I found a shirt stud in the closet. He must have dropped it when he changed there the next morning. How did he get away from his wife? Well, he sent her back to their estate, and he told her he'd stay in their London flat. Then he broke in and stole the money, like we did with the rabbit. And what about the safe? I checked with my mum. Guess who donated the safe to the charity? Aren't you clever? I'm sorry. I had to record over the Italian lesson. Thank you. I'll have that. Pals? Pals! <laughs>